Hi guys, my name is Huma Sarva. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about another scholarship that is provided by Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. So if you want to pursue your high degree, then you should consider this scholarship and you should watch this video till end because in this video, I'm going to cover a lot of things just like the summary of this scholarship, financial benefits, eligibility criteria, and what documents do you need to apply. And at the end, I will guide you how to fill the application form. So the application are open for 2020. 2024-2025 in Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. The program has been created to support both local or international students. So this scholarship is not only for Qatari students, it's also for all the international students who want to pursue their higher degree. Uh, in this institution this scholarship program is a fully funded scholarship so if you want to pursue your uh, your high degree then you should consider this scholarship because it's a fully funded scholarship it's not partially scholarship so if you will get admission in this in this university or you will uh, you will uh, mean you will be successful to get this scholarship then uh, this scholarship will cover all of your expenses just like your tuition fee your medical insurance your ticket and uh, uh, some other uh, scholarship and some other expenses for all the international students the program is available for foreign students to study in masters or phd degree that are offered by doha institute for graduate studies so it's a fully funded scholarship and available for the students in various program offered by doha institute for graduate studies so if you want to uh, apply for this scholarship then i suggest you to watch this video till end don't skip anything because all the informations are important for all the students uh, if you skip a little part of the video then it means you can uh, you cannot apply for this scholarship because all the steps are important but the financial benefits but documents do you need because there are so many students who okay कुछ वीडियो के पार्ट्स को स्किप कर देते हैं सिर्फ इसलिए कि वीडियो का वो पार्ट उन्हें लगता है कि वो इम्पॉर्टेंट नहीं है लेकिन अगर आप बेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स मास्टर स्टूडेंट्स हैं और आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए तो मैं आपको सजेस्ट करती हूँ कि वीडियो को स्किप ना किया करें मैं सिर्फ यहाँ पे अपनी वीडियो की बात नहीं कर रही हूँ आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट माय वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द वीडियोस कि अगर आप कोई भी स्कॉलरशिप से रिलेटेड या एडमिशन से रिलेटेड वीडियो देखते हैं देन डोंट स्केप इवन अ लिटल पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो बिकॉज अगर आप छोटा सा पार्ट भी अगर आप स्किप करते हैं तो इट माइट भी पॉसिबल कि दैट वुड बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दैट वीडियो तो वीडियो को कम्प्लीट देखा करें ए टू जी देखा करें अगर वो फिफ्टीन मिनट्स की वीडियो है या ट्वेंटी मिनट्स की वीडियो है तो आप ये ना सोचा करें कि बीच में हमारे फाइव मिनट्स वेस्ट हो रहे हैं या टेन मिनट्स वेस्ट हो रहे हैं जहाँ पर आपका फ्यूचर आपका दाव पर लग सकता है किसी भी चीज़ से रिलेटेड अगर आप अपना फ्यूचर बनाना चाहते हैं तो अपनी वीडियो जो भी आप वीडियो देख रहे हैं स्कॉलरशिप से रिलेटेड उस वीडियो को कम्प्लीट देखें और बार बार देखें और अगर आप कोई भी स्कॉलरशिप के लिए अप्लाई करते हैं तो सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि आप अपने नोट्स बना लें उस नोट्स को जब आप बनाते हैं तो नोट्स को बना के आप छोटी छोटी इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है जैसे आप कोई वीडियो देखते हैं तो उसकी छोटी छोटी इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है वो वहाँ पे लिखना स्टार्ट कर दें सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस दोहा इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर ग्रेजुएट स्टडीज स्कॉलरशिप तो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टेल यू अबाउट द समी फाइनेंशियल बेनिफिट बट एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया टू अप्लाई फॉर द स्कॉलरशिप एंड वट डॉक्यूमेंट्स डू यू नीड and uh, deadline of this scholarship and how to fill the application form so let's start our video summary host country is qatar high degree the, uh, the degree level is master and phd program so this scholarship is not for bachelor students so if you want to pursue your master or phd degree then you should consider this scholarship university name doha institute for graduate studies and financial coverage is the fully funded scholarship it's not partially funded scholarship Financial benefits. Doha Institute for Graduate Studies offer a wide variety of fine, fully funded scholarship and able to attract students from within or outside the state of Qatar. First is Tamim Scholarship for Qatari international students in Arab world. It's a fully funded scholarship, just like full tuition fee cover, free accommodation, monthly stipend, health insurance, two travel ticket from or to home country upon arrival or after graduation. Next one is. सनस स्कॉलरशिप फॉर इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स कतरी और रेजिडेंट्स इन इटली तो ये स्कॉलरशिप में क्या कुछ कवर होता है फर्स्ट वन इज प्रोग्राम फी टेन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द प्रोग्राम इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिपार्टमेंट कि आपको कितना इसका जो है वो कवरेज मिलेगी फूड ट्यूशन फी कवर फ्री अकोमोडेशन मंथली स्टाइप एंड हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस एंड टू ट्रेवल टिकट फ्राम और टू होम कंट्री अपॉन अराइवल और आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन तो आपको दो ट्रेवल टिकट मिलेंगे जब आप अपने होम कंट्री में विजिट करना चाहेंगे 
ओके फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंस एंड ह्यूमेनिटीज क्रिटिकल सिक्योरिटी स्टडीज सोशल साइकोलॉजी क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजी सोशल वर्क ह्यूमन राइट्स मीडिया स्टडीज हिस्ट्री जर्नलिज्म पॉलिटिकल इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन फिलोसफी लिंग्विस्टिक एंड अरेबिक लेक्सिकोग्राफी नेक्स्ट इज सोशियोलॉजी एंड एंथ्रोपोलॉजी कंफ्लिक मैनेजमेंट एंड ह्यूमेटेरियन एक्शन स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड पब्लिक पॉलिसी में पब्लिक पॉलिसी पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एग्जेक्टिव मास्टर ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ड्यूल ई एम बी ए एम बी ए डिग्री so these are the field of studies offered by this university what is the eligibility criteria to apply for this scholarship this scholarship is open for all the international students aapki koi bhi citizenship hai you can apply for this scholarship the applicant must have earned a bachelor degree or master degree because if you want to apply for master degree then you must have your bachelor transcript or bachelor degree and if you want to apply for phd then you must have your master degree and master transcript applicant must submit all previous educational documents agar aap masters ke liye apply karna chahte hain jo aapke jo previous jitne bhi educational document hain योर मास्टर योर मैट्रिक डिग्री योर इंटरमीडिएट डिग्री तो आपने सारी की सारी डिग्री जो है वो सबमिट करवानी अगर आप पी एच डी के लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हैं दैन यू मस्ट सबमिट योर मैट्रिक डिग्री योर इंटरमीडिएट डिग्री योर बैचलर डिग्री एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट ऑल ऑफ योर मास्टर डिग्री एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट बैचलर एंड मास्टर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट आर सर्टिफाइड बाई ऑफिशियल अथॉरिटीज आपने उसे सर्टिफाइड करवाना है ऑफिशियल अथॉरिटीज से अ वैलिड मिनिमम ऑयल अकेडमिक स्कोर ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव आपको चाहिए होगा अ मिनिमम ऑफ थ्री रेफरेंस लेटर फ्रॉम द अकेडमिक फैमिलियर तो आपके जितने भी जो प्रोफेसर वगैरह है वहां से आपने एटलीस्ट थ्री रेफरेंस लेटर आपने सबमिट करवाने हैं आपकी अपडेटेड सी बी होगी और आपके पास मोटिवेशनल लेटर है देन यू शुड ऑल्सो अपलोड योर मोटिवेशनल लेटर English language requirement. The English language requirement might be waived in case of candidates who obtain degree from one of the universities endorsed by DI, where the English language is the official language of the institution. So, if your institution has all your subjects, they are taught in English. So, you can submit the certificate of English language, English language proficiency certificate. You can also submit it. The British Council has introduced a new scheme, Ivan Scale Retake 2023, in which you can appear in a single module to improve your score without taking the full test to aap ye bhi kar sakte hain agar aapke ielts mein marks kam aaye hain jisme aapko students ke 6 marks aate hain ya 5.5 aate hain to wo ye test bhi uh, may be appear ho sakte hain ki agar aapne full test nahi dena to aapke marks jo hai wo improve ho sakte hain isme how to apply for doha institute for graduate studies uh, for this scholarship all new applicant have to apply online with the online application portal this is the link the link jo hai main description box mein bhi de dungi so it would be easy for you to access this website so let's jump into the website Uh, so guys, this is the website to apply for this scholarship. This is the website for Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. It's about about where what is in about in about the Doha Institute welcome academic vision mission grant okay admission admission of his academic program admission condition and requirements scholarship tuition fee contact us apply click on this apply. ओके ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन इज ओपन ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन डेडलाइन डेडलाइन इज फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जनवरी स्टार्ट ऑफ अकेडमिक ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एटीन ऑफ अगस्त अप्लाइड डॉक्टर स्टडीज एंड मास्टर प्रोग्राम एप्लीकेशन फॉर एडमिशन विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू create an online application on di admission portal application can submit one applicant applicants uh, submit one application only duplicate application will be uh, disregarded applicants can save this application process and apply in several sessions okay masters program click on masters these are some instruction please uh, before apply for anything read all this instruction uh, click on apply now Now, first you have to register yourself. First name, last name, email address, confirm email address. Submit. Okay, you have successfully registered for the admission uh, application of Doha. Okay, click on Doha for inquiry. Please contact this one. Okay, first check the email. I got this email from the university. Thank you for starting an application for admission to the institute for graduate study. You can now start working on your application to your. and uh, to our selective program using the credentials below what are the credentials application username my username is this and my password is this one 
so let's copy this password and username my username is my email address sign in create application and please read all the following instructions carefully before starting an application create an application on di okay these are the app um kick start your application school uh, school of social science and humanity school of economics administration and uh, public policy uh, level i want to apply for master program is i said i want to apply for public policy and submit next is if appropriate only include information about your most recent application to doha have you applied to doha institute previously no application term no i did apply for this one so student funding admission of uh, di is need blind your answer below okay would you like to consider for di merit scholarship yes are you planning another scholarship no are you pursuing employer funding to other sponsorship no name of employer or potential no i am not considering this thing uh, student housing is only available to the student who will be residing in qatar under di residency sponsorship do you intend are you intend to apply for di student housing yes i want to apply for this one a source of information visit to your uh, doha uh, okay uh, how did you hear about this one it's up to your uh, okay i say family or friend click on next uh, my first name my last name okay latin character uh, please spell name exactly as they appear on your passport first name and last name uh, gender uh your date of birth uh country of birth uh, marital status uh country citizenship and passport uh country of permanent residency where you are living uh national id number is your passport number upload id card okay this one is uh, upload id for countries or residents if applicable no it's not for a uh, passport number upload passport no attach a copy of your passport identification page with clear photos okay here you have to upload your passport okay next is contact information primary email address primary phone number and scan the phone number your uh, uh, address uh street number city and uh, state or province uh your country uh postal code whatever is your postal code address in doha no i don't have any address is your address in doha qatar same as permanent address i don't have any address in doha so let's click on next okay employment history are you currently employed yes or no if you are currently employed then you have to mention all your details but if you are not uh, uh, currently uh, doing any job then click on no employment history okay click on next uh, how long have you been employed overall i said no your cv then click on next next is undergraduate qualification please provide detail for the college or the university you attended or you are currently attending okay name of the university you have to mention the name of the university uh city uh state or province uh country uh bachelor master degree uh public i am apply for this to asset public policy have you already graduated yes graduation date you have to mention the graduation date uh suppose i said i got my graduation degree 1st of march 
ग्रेट गुड वेरी गुड ओके इट्स वेरी गुड एक्सपेक्टेड ग्रेजुएशन डेट सो यू हैव टू फेल ऑल दिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर डिग्री नेक्स्ट इज ओके अपलोड अंडर ग्रेजुएट सर्टिफिकेट ओके प्लीज अपलोड अ कॉपी ऑफ योर यूनिवर्सिटी सर्टिफिकेट स्टेटमेंट स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टिल इन दियर फाइनल अंडर ग्रेड ईयर विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू सबमिट दिस डॉक्यूमेंट लेटर ओके नेक्स्ट इज प्लीज अपलोड योर अंडर ग्रेजुएट सर्टिफिकेट द ऑल अंडर ग्रेजुएट ट्रांसक्रिप्ट ऑप्टेन टू ओके आई गॉट माई ट्रांसक्रिप्ट एंड माई डिग्री सो आई एम अपलोडिंग माई अंडर ग्रेजुएट डिग्री एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट बोथ अपलोड so uh, graduate degree in the past no have you already graduated no uh, language requirement <clears throat> uh was english the main language of instru instruction in your previous degree yes attachment now you have to upload your english language proficiency certificate have you taken the ielts or toefl if you have already taken the ielts and toefl then click on yes and upload your ielts or toefl certificate so now you have to upload your english proficiency certificate okay let's check if this is my english language proficiency certificate okay and then next is personal statement you have to upload your sop motivational letter jo hota hai aapka okay it should be in doc or uh, word document let me check if i have something click on next next is writing sample this page is not mandatory for the school of economics administration and public policy so click on next next is your referees information you have to upload your referees information next is required field please check disclaimer statement yes i have read accepted everything then click on next so this is the way to apply for this scholarship i have already filled all the form so if you have any question about this scholarship about this institution you can ask me in the comment box so next video take care of yourself allah peace